On February 28, 2019, David DeFranco uploaded a video called Five Reasons Console Gaming is Better Than PC Gaming, and it was one of the worst things I'd ever seen. In this video, he said very just plainly false things about the PC, like how there's no couch multiplayer, or that you shouldn't be using it on a TV, or that there's no surround sound on the PC. Consoles have more multiplayer games and more a longer multiplayer lifespan on than the PC does, just very obviously wrong things. You would think that with a video this terrible, which, I mean, likes and dislikes are disabled, so how terrible could he really have thought it was? You would think that he would simply take the criticism and perhaps move on with his life. But no. Shortly afterwards, I made a response video. I don't remember exactly what day the video went up because I can't get to it anymore because we'll get into that. But it was, in a, it was within a week of the video going up. And I never really gave any more thought to Mr. DeFranco until today. April 14th, 2019, I received this email from YouTube saying that a copyright takedown had been issued on my response video by none other than David DeFranco himself. My first reaction was confusion. As the video had been up for about a month and only had a few dozen views, this is not exactly a large channel. But then I started looking into other things that he had been doing recently, and apparently he's just been going on a copyright spree. He took down Fratanga, he took down It's Tough, and he took down myself, because apparently there is no channel too small, no audience too limited, any criticism of him must be silenced. Over a month after the videos go up, David DeFranco goes out of his way to scavenge through YouTube and find any mention of him in a negative light and abuse YouTube's copyright system to silence it all. David DeFranco is perhaps the most insecure person I've ever seen on YouTube. He's constantly self-promoting, he's constantly hoisting himself up and putting others down, and he is incapable of taking criticism. All throughout the day that he had been issuing these takedowns, he remained completely silent on Twitter, despite the dozens of people tweeting at him asking for a response, and the people commenting on all of his videos and recent posts asking for a response, asking for a reason why he is blatantly abusing copyright, and he has not even acknowledged it, because like I said, David DeFranco is the most insecure person I have ever found on the internet. At the beginning of this video, you probably saw my fair use and copyright notice that I put in front of all of my response videos because I know these things better than David does. All of my content is protected under fair use and he knows it, but he doesn't care. It's always interesting to me that the people who present themselves as the friendliest and the most approachable on YouTube are really the slimiest and the most abusive of YouTube's clear flaws. David has videos like stop saying it and start doing it. Your support means a lot. Keeping busy with no sleep and yet he refuses to even acknowledge the people that he has wrongfully taken down, simply for correcting the wrong things that he has said. David, you are spineless and your channel is a joke. You've tagged your channel as youtube.com slash the creative one, but I can't think of anyone as vacuous and completely unwilling to stick up for what they do than you. And you would think with a channel as faltering as yours, you would be trying your best to stay out of controversy. Because people who get caught abusing copyright, their channels plummet. And you would know a lot about that, wouldn't you? And I try not to be petty about these things. I try not to be petty in the videos that I make. I try not to be petty in my responses. I try to keep things civil and on topic and avoid ad hominems as much as possible. You've seen the videos, hopefully, probably not. But when someone disrespects me and other YouTubers like this, completely silencing criticism, avoiding all possible confrontation, and ignoring it completely. You don't deserve my respect anymore, David. What was your end goal here? Taking down all criticism of a dead channel? Really? That's the best plan right now? If anything, I felt flattered that David even bothered to seek out my video, because like I said, it only had a few dozen views at the time that it was taken down. Apparently those few dozen views were just too much for him to handle. And David, I would love to see you try and take this video down. We all know what you're doing right now. We all know that you have no regard for fair use, you have no regard for the laws, and you have no regard for YouTube as a platform, and other creators as people, and their rights to the platform, just as you have rights to the platform. You don't care, but I would love to see you take down this video of mine right now. Do it. Knock yourself out. Take this video down, even though there is not a second of your content in this video. 
And even though you know that it is transformative, you know that it is fair use, you know that none of this video belongs to you, and neither did the other ones, but that's besides the point. Take down this video, David. Let's see you do it. Because apparently you have nothing better to do than s scavenge through YouTube and look for anything with your name on it. Is that really the best use of your time, David? Looking for any criticism at all so you can shut it down because apparently you have some amazing reputation you need to protect? I mean, your likes and dislikes have been disabled for months and months before I found your channel. Clearly, you're hiding something. Clearly, you know that you're not a perfect channel. If you have to censor your own subscriber base, your own community, your problems are a lot deeper rooted than just a few people critiquing the obviously wrong things you said in a video. I say in the intro of every single one of my videos that I know it is protected by fair use, and that any attempts to take down my videos will be combated accordingly. And I'm following through on that, David. Remove the claims on my videos and everyone else's that you've struck. Because until that happens, you're going to be hearing from me a lot, bud. Until you at least acknowledge it. What kind of person goes around striking any and all criticism of them and then doesn't even acknowledge it? But I guess I should just stop expecting better of you, David. You created one of the worst videos I had ever seen on YouTube. I don't know why I expected anything better from you. If anything, thank you for the ego boost you gave me, because apparently my audience is just so dangerous that you had to silence us entirely. Oh, and David, babe, let me uh, clue you in on something. Knowingly abusing YouTube's copyright system and copyright takedowns can result in the termination of your channel. I'm not saying I want that. I'm just pointing it out. Toodles.